What's up guys, eDrone here, and wanted to make this video because I've been seeing a lot of questions online about the Mavic Air and how to switch from 2.4 gigahertz uh, Wi-Fi signal to 5.8 gigahertz Wi-Fi signal. So first thing you're going to do obviously is get into your DJI app, and if you look up here right where the Wi-Fi indicator is, you'll see that I am on 2.4 gigahertz. So let's go into our settings down here to Wi-Fi you'll see and this is how it came out of the box it's set to auto and you can see the channel mode is 2.4 gigahertz and now if you want to change from 2.4 to 5.8 you have to push the custom button now that you've pushed the custom button scroll down and you'll see a list of channels once you get 1 through 11 is going to be your 2.4 gigahertz 149 to 165 is going to be your 5.8 gigahertz. Now you want to choose a channel that's not in red. So I'm going to choose channel 149. And it's going to tell you that the changes will take effect after the Wi-Fi of the quad has been reset. So we're going to push OK. We're now going to disconnect from the app. The Wi-Fi is going to reset. And we'll have to reconnect back up because it's connected to my household Wi-Fi. So we're just going to give it a minute to power back on. We're going to go ahead and connect to the Mavic Air once again. I'm going to close out of our Wi-Fi window. Open the app back up. And, and wait for the app to connect. And now you can see it just changed to 5.8 gigahertz. And if you want to go back, it's the same thing. You go back to your Wi-Fi, okay? And you see it's still on custom. All you have to do is go back to your channel index, choose channel four, hit the okay button. It's gonna reset the Wi-Fi. There you go, the Wi-Fi is being reset. Now we're going to go ahead and reconnect. And now you can see we are back on 2.4 gigahertz. Go back into the Wi-Fi. Now you can go back to auto at this point. You don't have to reset the Wi-Fi when you change from custom back to auto. So now you can see the channel 4 is a little bit higher than the channel that I was using, the 149. And that's pretty much it, guys. So it's not it's not too difficult, but if you don't if you don't know what to do, I can see where the confusion comes in. So like I said, you just have to make sure you push that custom button and you'll see a whole list of channels right there in the channel index. Now here's just a little bit of advice. So if you're going to fly somewhere where there's a lot of Wi-Fi interference, houses, um, buildings, commercial applications, you know, you're going to want to probably fly in 5.8 gigahertz. You're going to get less interference that way. However, you're probably not going to be able to go as far. Now, if you're trying to do like a range test or you're somewhere wide out in the open country where there's not a lot of Wi-Fi interference, you definitely are going to want to go with 2.4 gigahertz if you're going to be going rather far trying to do, you know, further shots or range tests. And that's just, that's, that's just uh, what I have learned in my own experiences and going through the internet, other people's experiences. That seems to be the case. So the 5.8 gigahertz is a less crowded signal than the 2.4 gigahertz. So just want to let you know about that. just want to make this quick little video to show you how to switch your DJI Mavic Air from 2.4 gigahertz to 5.8 gigahertz Wi-Fi. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please hit that like button to subscribe. It helps me out, and I really appreciate it, guys. See you guys on the next one. E-Drone, out. Yeah.